Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today in our space, I am participating in a challenge video that is being hosted by the lovely Yami over at The Latina Next Door. Now, this is a monthly challenge she hosts and every month she has a different co-host. And for this month, it is Helena over at Blondie Next Door. Now, what they've asked us to do is take a high-end price item that you would like that's home decor and make it for a whole lot less, hence the look for less. So for this challenge, I am going to be utilizing this very large thing of jute twine. It is six ply jute twine and there are 900 feet of twine on this. I have two of these that I am going to be taking the twine out and it is very thin six ply jute twine and I'm going to take a crochet hook and crochet this into a very long chain because what I'm going to be making is a jute rug. I have seen these out everywhere and I'm in love with them, but they are quite expensive. Okay, so for this, I am going to leave the twine connected to the big section of it and just pull it out as I go so it will be a seamless piece and I won't have to patch too many pieces. I'm sure there's gonna be patch pieces inside of this, but I think that'd be the easiest way to do it. Crocheting a chain is very simple. All you do is make a loop on your crochet needle and then pick up some of the whatever you're crocheting with, we're using twine, and pull it through and that makes this like braided chain. So I'm really quick at crocheting and I'm going to do this on the majority of this ball. It is 900 feet. have all of this crocheted and you can see it's quite a bit and here is how much is gone out of this it was almost closed up it was probably about this big around and so I am going to continue because it was not connected once I got to this much I am going to continue to crochet some more until I get quite a bit more of this because I'm pretty sure this is not enough to make a rug big enough for. to take and I'm going to face the braid part up and glue it to the sides like this. Okay, for this next part, we are going to leave our chain rope connected and we are just going to start making these really pretty loops that go over and under and make sure that your uh, actual chain is facing the right direction. You want the upside facing outward and the bottom side facing inward. And you're going to take a little bit of hot glue and glue it down to the main rope and then glue the bottom loop to the main part of the rug. And then after that, you're gonna glue the sides to each other. And continue this all the way around your rug until you have an entire row of loops. And I think it's really pretty.
Now for the next row, we are going to put the hot glue on the lower part of that chain and slightly tip up the chain so that the top of it is facing outwards. As you can see, you can see more of the top of the chain and you're going to continue to do that all the way around for eight more rows. Then repeat the loopy row and the straight row again, however many times you want to make the size rug that you're looking for. I am going to only repeat it one more time. One more time of the loop and one more time of the straight and then we'll be moving on to the border. And here's a little trick I discovered along the way doing this. I'm going to be gluing the loops together to themselves first in sections and then gluing small sections down to the main part of the rug on my second time around. Uh, it makes it look a little bit less messy, I think, and it's just easier to do when you are trying to glue it together so you don't burn your little fingers. So I actually like this and I thought I'd share this in case you want to make this rug yourself. Okay, next we're gonna make those big decorative border pieces. And I looked at this carefully and they made each one of the pieces by itself and then they attached it to the sides of the rug. So what you need for that is more of your braided crocheted, either way you want to do it. I crocheted mine as you know and you're going to start off by making the center circle and how I'm doing that is I'm just going to do it around like this in a circle and I'm going to glue it as I do it and I'm going to make it about the size of like a standard water bottle that you would get in the store. Not like a real big one, one that's like somewhere between the 16 and the 24 ounce bottle. So about that big. We are gonna glue that around in a circle and then we're gonna move on to the next part. Okay, now, once you have your circle, and like I said, about this big, I'm just eyeballing it. You can make it a little bigger if you want. You can make it a little smaller if you want. It depends on the size of the rug that you're making too. Now, also, I want you guys to make sure that you have the top part of the rope that you, rope chain that you made facing up. So if you crocheted it like I did, then it would look like this on the top and, and not like this on the bottom. You want the top part facing up when you do this. The bottom looks like this and that doesn't look bad either. So if you prefer this look, you can do that, but I'm doing it like this. Then we're gonna take that rope and we're gonna turn it on its side, still attached, and we're going to make a loop with the top part facing outward and the bottom part facing in. Now I'm eyeballing this too and I am going to be guessing here that this is no more than like five inches long for the size of the rug that rug that I am making so you can eyeball yours too I'm, I don't want to make them like super long like this that is way too long for my rug but about five inches probably lengthwise this way and I'm going to glue this loop to the side of the circle And we're going to do nine of these all the way around. Now their rug has more, but their rug is a whole lot bigger. 
so I am going to only be doing nine. If you're gonna make a much bigger rug, then you might want to have your inner circle a little bigger and do like 11 or do um, 13. You want them in an odd number and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, once you have all of these secured on here slightly, I go back in, I just use a tiny bit of glue to hook them all on, and then I go back in and I put some extra dabs in, and then I literally take my hot glue gun and hold it over it to secure it down a little bit more because I have my big bad boy glue gun and it is super, super hot. But you can do that after we do our next step too. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the chain and make sure that the good clean top side goes all the way out and around and it doesn't get folded over and we're going to go around this entire thing and glue a chain. And when we get to the top we're going to count in to the fifth one which is in the middle so whichever one you have in the middle like I said you need an odd number we're gonna count to the fifth one for this because I have nine all together and we are going to take and make a little peak in it to glue together so what I do is I'm going to glue this bottom part glue all the way across the bottom one all the way and then I'm going to figure out where I want the chain to be glued to the rest of them and then do my little peek over the five and then glue this part down and then go back around and glue all of these in making sure I have like little loops at the top if that makes sense so that's what we're gonna do Okay, now we're going to take and glue the tops to this side piece here. Okay, so here it is. We are about to attach it onto the rug. Right here you can see I already put glue down, but my camera wasn't recording, so we're gonna re-glue over where I already put glue down here. And we're just gonna put the glue in the middle of each one of the rows that we're gonna do. We're gonna tip it up a little bit and then glue down directly on top the entire side of our border piece. So once you get them together, they will look like one edge. It's really easy to do. And then after we get done with that, we're gonna glue the two sides together and we'll do this all the way around until you have a full border. And I have my extra ones here. And so let's just get started and do that.
And here is my final project. And to say that I'm in love with this is a huge understatement to say the least. I think it is a perfect dupe for my inspiration piece. It came from Overstock.com and they have it listed, the oval one, for $123 and some odd cents. The round one in this size they have listed for $145. Mine is approximately six feet by five feet in with and I am in love with it. I think it will go perfectly in my gazebo. I am not putting it on my front porch because it's way too big to go there. Now, let me just tell you, the hardest part about this is having patience and gluing it really nicely and not getting globs of glue anywhere. It was not very expensive to make. I ended up using one and about three four so I had about 25% of one of the jute twine things left over you could do this with rope instead though but I do not suggest that you use the Dollar Tree nautical rope because it's only about nine feet and this would end up costing you way more money than what I did mine cost me approximately thirty dollars because you have to include the cost of the glue because you are going to be using a ton of glue sticks as well I use gorilla glue sticks now I have a big box of them so I don't know how many actually come in the packages that you buy at like the craft stores and stuff but I use the long ones that are kind of thick in my glue gun and I use approximately between 23 and 25 sticks. I kind of lost count with that, but that's how much you're going to need. So I do know when you get them in the packs, you should get around 15 to 20 of them and they run about $8 in the store. If you buy them at some place like Joann's or Michael's or something like that, you can use a coupon on them. However, so you can save money that way. If you do that, it may end up costing you a little bit more than $30 for this, depending on the size of the rugs that you make. But I am in love with it. So, I want to thank Yami and Helena for including me in this wonderful challenge. I have done it in the past. It's been a little while and I'm glad to jump back in with this project here. And I'm sorry it is going to be placed up late this evening. But I will list both of their channels down in the description box along with the playlist. So make sure you go over and show them both some love and check out what everybody else has made in this challenge. I want to thank all of you for liking, for watching, and always sharing my videos. Without you, I wouldn't have as many subscribers as I have and if you are not a subscriber here on lazy space i don't know why not go ahead and smash that subscribe button become a subscriber hang out with us for a while we have a lot of fun here and we make a whole lot of cool things like this here also if you like you can follow me on instagram it's lazy space the same way that it's spelled here and i will catch all of you in my next video bye loves